you don't like your first wife, yeah, you gotta get it to you, always work you. When that, she still got your first born son. Yeah, cause, uh, like Jacob, even though he was with uh, Leah, she, she, uh, for his first born son. Cause the uh, Lord clothed Rachel. Yeah. Uh, basically, to show more favor to Leah. They was uh, see, they was trying to raise it, see, get more babies and all that. Shit, the they lay over on the Yeah, exactly. She had what, seven of them had kids. Uh, everybody else only had two. She had seven. So, God, what was dealing with her? And it up and, uh, and it shows, and, you know, just like the lesson we did for this week, you know, over did our forefathers called upon the name of the Lord, Leah was the name of the Lord. Yeah. Why do you think she named uh, Judah Judah? It's your holiday. Praise the Lord. Exactly. Uh, 
Brother Dollar Dollar for the read the, uh, this article or whatnot. And basically, it's gonna tell you like how he, how there's no precautions behind killing a lion. Okay. It says uh, rich American tourists kill hundreds of lions each year, and it's all evil. Right. 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 Now, get the one with the eagle. We don't read that title on that one and see what it says. Killing an eagle, although no longer in danger, is still illegal. Right. Now, you see how it says with the lion that it says the rich Americans go over there to Africa and kill hundreds of lions and it's legal. And, but it says in this article, uh, killing the, uh, the eagle is, is illegal. You know? Exactly. And they're not even in danger. And the lion's not even in danger. So why is it that it's a $5,000 uh, fine for killing the eagle? Okay, we're going to read this one first. Says, the internet is in an uproar this week over the recent killing of a well-known lion in Zimbabwe. Walter J. Palmer, Minnesota dentist, allegedly made it uh, Cecile the lion out of a national park by dragging a dead animal behind a car at night. Palmer shot it with a crossbow. Wounded lion escaped, wasn't found by a farmer and his fellow hunters until 40 hours later when they killed it with their rifle. This would all be perfectly legal had the lion had not been a resident of Zimbabwe's Kawangi, I think that's how you pronounce it, National Park, a protected area. Right. See where it says this would be perfectly legal if it wasn't. Uh, part of the uh, Zimbabwe uh, Park, uh, International Park, or National Park. So basically saying like if the lion was outside of that premises, they have been they have been legal for that to do that. But say if a lion or whatnot outside of their zone, what would happen? You would get fined or you would get money. You would go to jail for something. Here it is, it's a well-known famous lion. What happened to it? It got killed. But it wasn't like this people was fine about the point. say like hundreds of thousands, you know, probably millions. Why is it 30,000 lions left, man? Because what are they doing over there? They are hunting them for sport, and guess what they do? They stuff them and sell them, man. Because a lion is very, a lion is worth a lot of money, man. Okay? Says, uh, this represents an annual loss of roughly 2% of the total lion population to legal hunting. And a considerably larger share of the population of healthy adult male lions, which hunters typically be prized. American tourists, wealthy ones, given the high cost involved, 
account for the majority of lions killed for sport in Africa. Right. The, the, the wealthy uh, Edomites that's out there, man. Okay? Because when these Edomites go out there, man, it's really the wealthy and rich that's going out there, man. Okay? Going to kill these lions, man. And what, like I said earlier, what do they do with them? They stuff them, man. Or they cut the head off the lion just to hang it up on the wall, man, as a trophy. Did they not do that to us, man? They literally used to cut our rods off and hang them up as trophies, man. So then to show you the symbolic, uh, the, the symbolism behind this, man. Okay, the rich are, are killing the lion just like the rich are oppressing the uh, Israelites now, man. Okay. Like they spirit, they they know why they doing it, man. Because if, if the, when you think of a uh, so-called black man, what is the first image that comes in your head when he got a full head of hair, an afro, and a beard? He looked like a lion, man. Okay. But as you can see, this devil can't act on that because it's like if he do, people gonna see his wickedness, man. Like they gonna see like, damn, you actually hate these people, man. You killing them for no reason, just like they killing these lions for no reason, man. Safari International says there are records of over 2,000 lions killed in his online record book. A November 2014 blog post highlights the top 10 African lions killed with photos of hunters posed next to their prizes. Right. And as you see, this is this article came out in 2000, or this this all is 2014. So we know that this number has went up drastically, man. Okay, and then there's pictures of these damn devils right next to these lions' carcasses, man. Okay, you are, they are over here killing these lions for no reason and have no justification and no specific reason because you can't eat them. They are lawfully eat. Okay, so that's it on that one. So they should be. chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto the other, and there shall, and there mm -hmm. thou shalt serve for the gods which thou, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood or stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a heart, a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Right. And, and it says when you shall, uh, base you gone, you thinking like, man, you nervous when you go out the house, mm -hmm. you know? Because at the end of the day, this devil, man, he, he's a crafty uh, man, you know? He'll find ways to take you out, man, you know? And that's why we gotta be thankful that, that we are under the great, uh, under that mercy of Yahweh Shah, because, man, if we was left out here, man, this devil could send somebody into our house and, and not sleep to straight whack us off, man. You know? Because that's, 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 that's why the that's why the devil wants to do that, do that, man. But when it comes to Jacob's trouble, you people gonna see how bad this devil will try to get, man. Right. He gonna be hunting that's like actual clients, man, for sport. And they see that in the movie The First Bird. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, those, uh, 
of them, Edomites, and a lot of them came from different countries. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were coming over the quote unquote herds. I think that Edomite that was in the farming uh, complex, I think he was a Russian. You know? Yeah, you know, Jake's in there with their pistols, and I got shoot at them, and went through a shit. Yeah. You know, they, they all just drop it. Right. As you can see, if you ever watched the movie that the first purge, you know, what was they predominantly, uh, predominantly at? They was in a Jake neighborhood. They was in the hood, man. The projects, man. Okay? And then it shows you, like, man, when the when them times come, man, this devil's really going to enact those things in those movies, man. He's literally going to come in your house with militia troops and everything, man. So y'all really going to see how, how, how evil this man is, man. Okay. This is uh book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Ye also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Yeah, so uh, speaking of that. Yeah, come. So, we talking about these devils, particularly Esau, Edom, and these super elites and these rich who can afford to go around the world, okay, and um, and can, can go and, and hunt exotic, so as they call it, exotic animals for sport, you know, um, we can see that they just have a blood thirst. You know, they have a killing thirst, man. That's part of their spirit. And as you see in that scripture, it says, you know, he's not a keeper at home. Here it is, this devil is leaving his country to go over to another uh, country to kill exotic animals, man. Just to do what? To sell them, make money, man. Okay? And, and there's no purpose behind it because it's like, what can you do with it? It's just going to be sitting on okay? And then as long as it gets you touching dead carcasses anyway, okay? Like I was talking to the brothers before we started camp. You know, it's just even my house I was delivering to, and he got nothing but dead stuff animals in there, man. That is the wickedness of it, man. That is the wickedness of it. And guess what animal I see? I stuck lying, man. I stuck lying at the front door. That just shows how much of a class that is, man. He can get when he kill the lion. How much more he can get with us, man? When he kill one of us, he get geek behind that, man. His hopes get high, man. And guess what he want to do? Go kill another one. Go kill another chick, man. Because he thriving off that, man. Okay? Go on the side of chapter two. Verse, uh, verse 5 it says, what the ungodly says, For our time is very, is a very shadow that passes away, and after our end there is no return. It is bad sealed, so that no man cometh again. Come therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures uh, like as in youth. Like as in youth. Now we jump to verse 11. It says, let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So that's the mentality of these uh, that look down. Let us be the use of creatures as a human being. Let's just do whatever the hell we want to do with regard to life. And that's important. And it also says that in their minds that they say, well, that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So they don't, they, when, they, when they kill those, though they get rebuked by other people, they make articles for them, they just like, oh, here, I'm going to move out back out anyway, and I'm going to shoot me another bitch. I don't feel bad for killing this animal, I don't feel bad about it, you know. And that's really because you know that the lion is the top of the chain. Like you said, it represents the, uh, the Israelites, that's why. Because the lion basically called the king to jump. Because he governs, you know, him and his prior clan, they basically govern whatever little land they own. Really, the Israelites can go from the whole country because they represent that lion as it according to the scriptures. So we talk about that's why Jake like lions and wolves for the most part because that's what we can affiliate ourselves with. There's always some type of animal like to affiliate ourselves with. That's why you know how to run. 
and like they say the priest would come up here and like, what about the count with Samson when he killed the lion? Well he was defending himself, man. He was defending himself. So what you expect? Or oh, they'd bring out King David going to slide on lion. He wanted to go save some sheep, man. Okay? That's different from what you did with me. Y'all know how I got the sport. Y'all not got y'all have no uh, particular reason to be out there just killing them for no reason. children go missing a day, that's real. How many women go missing a day? That's real. And it's our U.S. government. And just like they're running dope in the fucking 70s, and shit like that, they're doing it today. Here, 2030. 2030. The United States is gonna be open with everything, just like it was in the 20s. It's the U.S. government running all this shit in here, and they're killing people every day. Every day, not just babies, you're killing, and what do they do is, and look up, y'all, y'all aren't, what you're all speaking about is real, and it's spiritual, and it's real, and I, hey, I applaud y'all, that's all, I applaud y'all, what y'all are doing is, is, is God's work. Where are you from? New Mexico. You a Nizzle like that? Hmm? You a Nizzle like that? You may, you may You're talking about the 12 tribes. The same message we preach is for you, for you to receive, so you can tell others to. Yes, sir. Yes, got to be the same way. Same way. Same way. Same way. You're right. No, you're right. Exactly right. You don't miss it, bro. Exactly right. Didn't I meet you the other day? No. Hey, uh, you know in the scriptures, you know in the scriptures that the, uh, the scripture refers to this place as the, uh, as a great whore? This place is considered the great whore because as you mentioned, you said that this place allows everything to come to it. You know, you got uh, pedophilia, uh, pedophilia uh, homosexuality, you got women dressing like harlots and stuff, you got women coming from other places, you want to come over here and live that uh, hard life, like that whole mentality, or that whole lifestyle and stuff, that's how you know this place. They call it the Great Whore. Great Whore. Great. 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 Great Whore. Seventeen. It says, uh, it's Revelation seventeen and one. It reads, and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the judgment. Unto thee of the great four that stood at the upon many waters. And when it says, uh, I will show you the judgment of that great whore that sitteth at the upon many waters, that great whore is speaking about America. And when it says many waters, that's talking about people, uh, different people, uh, nations, and tongues. Okay. So look, look at all these people come here so they can be uh, morally free from how life is lived in their own country. Exactly. They come here to partake in that in that fornication or in a drink of that, that, that wine, man. This place has to offer you different uh, philosophies and different doctrines and stuff that come as you are, spirits and stuff like that. That's the that's what this place pushes, man. That's why it's called the Great Lord. People that come here, they come here to be judged. When they go try to flee and try to leave this country, they ain't gonna be able to. Because guess what? You already over here, man. It ain't gonna be no way of escape. Man. Can't be locked down, female camp, all female camp. Oh, that's all throughout. Oh, you know, Obama ordered 
over 10,000 guillotines in his presidency and ordered enough ammunition to kill the world three times over. And tell me, they don't have these FEMA camps of Mont with mass body grave sites ready to go and gas chambers ready to go just like they fucking did in Germany? Tell you this, man. All of this is in the scriptures. It's already in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. I can read one right now. No, we hear you. <clears throat> All right. Hi, my name is Gabriel Michael Montoya Pacheco. It literally equals seven, 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 seven. Yeah. All right. So this is Revelation 11 and 13. Slock your brothers. You wanted to hear this. <clears throat> and it reads, the same hour was there a great earthquake in a tenth part of the city fell and in Slocky, and in the earthquakes were slain of men 7,000, which is a complete number. And the remnant were frightened, or rip, the remnant are the children of Israel who wake up right now, right? So as you hear this word right now, you may be potentially someone that's going to wake up as an Israel, okay? And gave glory, and gave glory to the power of heaven, that tenth part of the city. America is divided up into ten different zones for the FEMA camp. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. There are already districts. All right. There's already districts. But that's just to show you that this is already prophesied in the scripture. They're preparing. Our own government is preparing for it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Says the great, it says, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of all of harlots and abominations of the earth. And that translates to 666, you know. But as you can see, it has referenced this place as being the mother of harlots, man. It welcomes every, everything and everyone over here, man. You can do bestiality here. You can, uh, be, you can call yourself a damn. Uh, concrete stone or something like that, some weird shit. That's how people marry a damn tree. Yeah, there's a lady that married a cat, the dude that married a medican, that married a damn uh, ashtray. That's the that's what this place is, man. Nothing but wickedness. That's how you know this place is the mother of all hearts. And this place, uh, and this place is uh, spiritually, uh, this place is spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah. And you know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? You don't have a solid tomorrow? Yes. What, what happened to it? Read it. Read it. Just read it. So just, just read it. Well, uh, like, yeah, the brother just asked you a question. Like, well, yeah, I just, can't just just recall it like, word for word or line for line. Just read it. Okay. Basically, Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed by the uh, city. Yeah, the city got destroyed by the Lord because of why? Because the morning came from Babylon. And basically doing the same. Basically, what America's doing now is what they was doing back then. Let's read it. Oh, read it. So that way the people read it. They're all recording this for me. Peter's 
says, For if Yahweh spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, the preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example or an example unto those after that should live ungodly. And deliver just like the vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Sodom and Gomorrah to those five cities, they got turned into ashes. Condemn them with an overthrow for an example for everybody else to know how not to live. And the word Sodom means burning. So that's why we scripture call it Sodomites. Because you're burning. Right? So basically being fire. And what's been you know the F word means bundling sticks and burning with fire. So right. Romans one burning each other with so you're basically walking with bundle of sticks as soon as you set on fire. That's what the name always affiliated is it associates itself with fire. So and then America is side of the more spiritual according to the scripture. So it's just like the force can be burned with Like in uh, yeah, like in other countries, they 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 refer to a cigarette as a fag. Yeah, right, right. Uh, kind of like yeah, because it's burning, right? Oh, yeah, burning, yeah, burning stick. Yeah. Burning stick. That's what uh, you would light a fire with, burning the sticks. Right. souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. Basically, this is talking about, you know, some of us might have to go into the concentrated camps, you know, because we don't want to take the mark, you know, the MOTP, the, the mark that's right there on that sign right there. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, some of us going to literally not take that, and guess what they're going to do? They're going to cut our heads off and put us in the guillotine. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's, right. the right. Right. Exactly that's what, what that's talking about. about. We going to, you know, giving ourselves up for this truth, man. We kind of uh, gain the victory. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's what that's talking about. You know, some of us might have to go into the concentration camps. choice of word but yeah I mean you're really hey, I'm different like, I ain't you I ain't you I ain't from y'all city I ain't from y'all's community I ain't y'all I ain't from here and I speak on the same exact evil bullshit that is going on and y'all I, I plug y'all I really you know, 
shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And when it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street, as you can see, you can see that our people are in a dead state of mind. They like zombies walking around, you know? They don't want to know shit, don't want to hear shit. You know, they want to continue to walk around in a dead state of mind because the scriptures say, he that wandered out of the way of the Lord shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Basically, that dead state of mind that, that they going they uh the valley of dry bones, you know, the dry bones. They don't want skin and that. Yeah, they don't want no knowledge, no truth. They want to continue to live in their wicked ways. Mm -hmm. and, and, for a thousand years. and when it says which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, this place is that's further proven that America is called Sodom. Mm -hmm. It's actually a great void that allows anything to come into it. Uh, this place don't have this. This sure. place, uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, didn't have, don't have nothing on this place, man. This place is, is, is Sodom, Egypt, Babylon, yeah, all of them, Rome, Mistaken identity that may cost them up to a year in prison and five thousand fines. Right. And as you can see, you see the penalties behind killing an eagle. Man. If you kill an eagle, man, that can you can get sentenced a year for killing an eagle, man, and up to five thousand dollars a fine. But here it is. We just read an article with the lion. You gonna kill a lion within a, a, a point? You know, you don't get no fines because it's legal. And here it is. They both said they not in danger. Okay, so what is the purpose of putting a fine for killing the evil man? Okay? The evil was flying near Burr Creek on October 5th when it was shot according to the Department of Natural uh, Natural Resources. The men said they left without reporting the shooting because they had no cell service. Two fishing guys saw the eagle fall from the sky after hearing the gunshot and reported it to the DNR poaching hotline. Right. But here it is. It's like, okay, y'all call uh, 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 a service on these people for killing the eagle, and guess what they got to face? A year in jail. Okay? And that's symbolic for basically how, you know, if something, if an eagle might do something, you know, they not in trouble like this, man. Okay? 
Yeah, they are not in trouble like us, man. Okay, they, they get defended. They got the benefit of the doubt. But here it is, we don't get the benefit of the doubt. And as you see, when we read that article with the line, they didn't get the benefit of the doubt. Because why? They get sold and uh, they get uh, stuffed as trophies, man. But have y'all ever seen a stuffed uh, eagle yet? Hell no. You never seen, I've never seen a stuffed eagle a day in my life, man. I'm going to stuff one. It was stuck me a couple times. Hey, at one point in time, uh, uh, bald eagles on the yeah, endangered species list. So that's the reason why they passed the law. The people was shooting eagles at one point in time. You know, they're trying to see. Okay, brother, you take care. Yeah, 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 even then. Y'all are beautiful. Man. Like back in the uh, days, where if, uh, it's like man killed the eat of my man, what happened, man? It's a, bounty. it's a bounty on his head, man. They gonna search him up for this, man. They had turned down cities just to find this. But oh, what is like, man? Start it off 
Proverbs 29 and 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Right. When the righteous go, when we, when we get into power, man, it ain't gonna be none of this shit, man. It ain't gonna be none of us going over to different countries killing animals for no reason, man, and killing them for sport, okay? Because, you know, sport is just for something, like, just for fun, man, okay? You, there's no benefit behind it, man, okay? But when the wicked ruler, hey, the people mourn, man. Even the trees mourn, even though they don't make sounds, but at the end of the day, they mourn, man, because they know they know who's in power right now, man. The animals know who's in power right now, man. Nothing's happening in this planet right now, man. Nothing's happening because when you look at these animals, man, they don't look happy, man. Especially in the zoos, man. Look at those animals, man. They look depressed, man. Okay? And here it is, we are depressed too, man. Because this world is still dull and, and uh, void, man. And wicked, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> being over righteous and shit. Don't do that now, you know? But it just shows you, man, this, this place can make you feel like that sometimes, man. Okay? Uh, go on. Uh, two uh, this is uh, Zechariah chapter 11 and verse five. Uh, verse four. Thus said the Lord, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Right. And it says, Who possesses, slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. Now, when an Israelite get killed, dead in the street, in cold blood, man, guess what happens, man? They'll go and hold a trial for this, uh, for this, the devil that did it, and guess what? He'll get off, you know? But let a Jake go kill an Edomite. But he, the, the Jake defended himself, he ain't getting locked up for some years, okay? He ain't getting locked up for some years just for defending himself, okay? Especially if, uh, uh, Israel, if an Israelite man protecting his household, man. They have found rules and laws behind that why you shouldn't never uh, shot the, uh, the Edomite, man. This is uh, Psalm chapter 73 and uh, verse three. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. But there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain, violence covered them as a garment. Uh, the, uh, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walking through the earth. Therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how does Yahweh know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Yeah, they, you know, they, 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 these devils proud. They have everything that, they, that, that you can want, man, and they still are not satisfied, man. The scriptures say they enlarge themselves as hell, man. Like, like they, they, they have, where they are, people who have everything, and it still ain't enough. They still can't be at peace with nobody. They, they're not held to accountable uh, according to judgment, man. When the, when the Lord gave us the way we're supposed to be, we're supposed to judge our people, man, according to the law. These people have laws, and they judge themselves according to the loopholes in their laws. 
So it's always a way for them to get out from judgment. But you know what? That's the spirit of Cain, man, because he, he's been a vagabond and a fugitive running from judgment since those days. And when the Lord come back, man, he gonna he gonna get he gonna get that that that, that real that righteous recompense that he deserved, man. And the Lord gonna use <clears throat> us to do it to, to partake in that. Alright, I gotta appreciate Zechariah eleven and four. And thus said the Lord, my God, feed the flock of my slaughter, whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Right. Right. Yeah, so he says, possessors slay themselves and hold uh, them not guilty. Alright? Like, like, here it is. Like, uh, Whoever uh, eat him, like, and uh, kill a jig, get off scat. You know? And, like the brother said, that's the spirit of Cain. Cain was the uh, first murderer. All right, I, I got another one real fast. Yeah, and Cain is one of the reincarnations of Esau. <laughs> was not Cain, like, did not uh, one of Cain's sons start making weapons? You know? Yeah. 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 Ball paint, like yeah, yeah. 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 Speaking of his own, for he is a liar and the father of him. Well, as you can see, it says, ye are your father, the devil. Okay. This devil, man, he literally is the embodiment of Satan, man. He worships Satan on the on the left hand side, man. Okay? He don't believe in in in, in, in Yahweh Yahweh He don't believe in righteousness. Because we did, this world would be perfect right now, man. Hell no, he is the uh uh, the, uh, the counterfeit of us, man. The evil twin, man. And, and if I can say real fast, they, these devils, they know these, they know the scriptures are true. They know that they Esau. But the reason why they reveal so much is because they basically mad at the most high because the most high made them freaking. Alright? Shit, hey, if you was an Edomite, you'd probably be mad at the most high too. I had an Edomite too, man. I said, uh, how can the Lord get mad at us when he made us this way? Because he can. He do what the hell he wants to do, man. Yeah, see, like you, like, it's like I'm a fish And, uh, yeah, he's like you. You know, like the action figures when he was little. You got the good guy, you got the bad guy. Yeah. The bad guy always loses. Yeah, he's the antagonist. You know, he's the antagonist in there. Exactly. And, uh, you know, like, like first the bad guy wins, then the good guy wins. the antagonist, you know, against the protagonist, you know, that's trying to uh, take down the main character, which is the good guy, which the Israelites are the good guys, you know, but at the end of the day, yeah, the antagonist, he win for a little moment, that's why the scriptures say the uh, joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. Right. Yes, you know, but guess what, who gonna get the victory at the end of the day? The Israelites are, man. Right. Okay? You ain't gonna be able to uh, slay us no more, man. You ain't gonna be able to uh, hunt our steps no more, man. Because guess what? We already got the victory already, man.
Lamentations 4, 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. They pursue us upon the mountains. They lay wait for us in the wilderness. Right. And as you can see, as you see, and it says, uh, they hunt our steps, man. Okay, just like we read an article with the lion, man. They hunt the lion. So as you see, as the brother read that it says, he drove the lion out of the uh, park, man. And basically, baited him out and basically hunted his steps, man. Okay, he wanted to get a chance to get him, man. Just like what this devil do with us, he would set traps in your way just to bait you, just to take you down. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man, you're so, you're so guilty, man. Oh, man. You should have done it this time of night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, no other fucking devil, man. That's it. And that's what they want. They want to get a chance to, to get up on one of us, man. That's why you got to have y'all by swinging our shot, okay? Covering you, man. Because if you don't, then that's when this devil going to get a chance to point you, man. And when it says uh, our persecutors are swifter than the eagle of heaven, there it is, man. That just shows who the eagle is, man. Yeah, man. man yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like, I don't mean to touch you up, brother, but yeah, like, man, you devil's got a real narcissistic, uh, sadistic, and condescending attitude, man. Man, man that, that's all I like about you being devil. And shit, when we get in power, we're going to put our foot so far up your head, so we're going to make your damn head swing. You ain't going to know what the hell happened to you. Right. Right. Uh, a rubber sole for a time. So my shoe go to uh <laughs> get this real quick. This is uh Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring the nation against thee from far from afar from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fleeth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance. Uh, which shall not regard the persons of the old, nor show favor to the young. And if you look at the countenance of the eagle, it's, it's a predatory bird. Like it's, it's designed to, to, to rip flesh, you know? And that's what these men are. That's why the Bible calls them bloodthirsty men. You know? They're, they're, uh, what do you say? They're, they're, uh, spirit animals to, uh, the eagle. And ours is the light. And here it is, these people are defending, you know. This not even get started on the 1948s, man. They definitely defended, man. You know, they, they get benefits, they get uh, checks, you know, they get all the money. But here it is, the people that actually need the help, they ain't getting shit. You know, we getting slain in the streets, ain't nobody really talking about it for real. Yeah, they talk about it for a short moment, then throw it under the, uh, throw it under the rug, man. And just tell you, forget about it, man. Or they, or they sending, uh, they sending fucking uh, aid to Ukraine. Right. And how, how many damn homeless people here need the money today? Exactly. How come they ain't sending money to them? How many people need mental help right now, man? Right. man we seeing Jake talk to themselves, man, and y'all ain't doing nothing about that, man. But y'all yeah. gonna help uh, these Ukrainians that was probably already well off already. Y'all sending them millions and millions of dollars. They getting good jobs and all that stuff, just like how the eagle. You know, you kill an eagle, you know, you go to jail, you get a fine and stuff like that for $5,000. Just showing like, hey, they getting the benefits, man. They reaping the benefits. We don't. You see it? This is uh, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And these wicked men have dominion over the earth. That's why all this... Wickedness is allowed and permitted, and righteousness is hunted down, man.
Genesis 49 and verse 8 and it reads Judah thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies thy father's children shall bow down before thee Judah is a lion's wealth from the prey my son thou art gone up he stoopeth down he crouches as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up right and as you can see, man, you see the Lord refers to Judah as uh, a lion, man. Okay, so when these Edomites are over there hunting them lions, man, they, they getting a sport out of that. They really doing that to represent us, man. The Judites, man, or just Israel in general, man. They over there hunting them for no reason, killing them for no reason. Let us show you the, the hatred that these devils have for us, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, hey. That's what, uh, Slaki, I think, uh, yeah, because Esau, you know, that's his curse, him, him being uh, the, lowest of the, the lowest of the animals, right? So basically, like, he's trying to uh, undermine his curse, he's trying to go around his curse, trying to get the top, trying to get the top, you know, it's the top dog, so to speak. Literally. Right? Yeah, that's why, you know, they are represented as an eagle because they think, they, they, got, they can be up there, but you see the uh, eagle fly over to a lion, what will happen to that eagle? He will get destroyed, man. Yeah. In, a, in a second, man. In a second, man. But I think, like I showed you, man, Eagle Eater might so prepared to us, man. They gotta literally catch us on the, uh, some kind of sneaky tactics and stuff. Because what does Eagle do? It fly real, real high. You don't see it coming, and it sneaks and takes its prey, man. That's what these Eater might do with us, man. Or, uh, tonight. Like, basically, how people fight. Like, we try to 
contract might be the state or the gravity or some type of voter. So he'll, 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 he'll fly high or shoot down, he'll hit ground, he'll fly up as fast as hard as he can and drop him. Yeah. So uh, whatever it is, it'll break every bone in their body. Yeah, that's what this devil want to do with us, man. He, he trying to let us support. Hey, and that's that's how he do these celebrities, man. Take away, uh, drop them, yeah, and let them fall to their demise, man. You see, just like how, uh, like when you know they introduced the MOTP, man. Hey, they, the, hey, this devil's going to use these same celebrities, okay, that our people work, look up to, and worship. Just the four or third gender, and guess what's gonna happen? They gonna get destroyed, and the people that listen to them gonna get destroyed as well, man. And that's this devil uh, being that evil, taking you all the way up. And you don't really know that he bring you all the way up just to bring you down, just to destroy you. Man. Right. And he gonna get destroyed as well too. Man. Okay. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 11, starting at the uh, 37th verse. And behold, and lo, as it were a roaring lion chasing out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts whom I have made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them? Uh, and that lion right there wrote the represent the shot. Right? Okay. And when it says, uh, when it says, Art thou, art not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts? Ain't not America that four beast right now the reincarnated version of uh, the Roman Empire? Yes, it is. Okay, it is that fourth beast that is remaining. Okay, and guess who's going to visit this place? How is Shai is going to visit this place? The lion that chased out the wood, man. Okay, and guess who is he going to do? That eagle. Who is that eagle? These Edomites, man. Right. Okay. Uh, continue on. Okay. Verse four, one. Okay. Uh, for the earth has thou not judges with truth. Right. This devil don't. He don't judge anything by a uh, righteous uh, truth, okay? He does it in wickedness. He passes laws underneath your nose. You don't know what it really means, but hey, it's just a force of wickedness, man. That's what this devil does, man. Uh, I guarantee you. And if you look up what laws was passed between Monday and Friday, it'd be probably 50 plus laws that have been passed. That's what they do. Every every day, a new, they pass new laws but they don't necessarily execute them until the time is, uh, is permissible for them. It benefits them to do it. Right. And then, and another thing, and some of the laws they pass, they don't even tell the public, man. Oh, they ain't gonna, and you people really think these people care about y'all? Hell no, man. That's why I said, he does not the world the truth, man. Well, this devil lives by a lie. That's what the word devil means to deceive, man. Man. Guess what? We're going to use the same tactics on you. <laughs> oh, ignorance of the law is no excuse, Esau. Yeah. Uh, continue on. Okay. Verse two. For thou has afflicted the meek, thou has hurt the peaceable, thou has loved liars and destroyers the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Right. And here it is, man. Who the who the meek of the earth, man? Israelites are really the elect, man. We the I man the, the elect are the meekest people. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyways, the Israelites are basically talking about the elect, man. Hey, we the most peaceful people on the planet. We don't cause no problems with nobody. We ain't going out here starting wars with anybody. We ain't out here bombing people's cities up, man. Because don't these devil take away, that's why the scriptures refer to him as that red horse, man. Because what he taking away peace from the earth, man. Did he not do that, man? Yes, he did. He still is doing it, man. And when it says, um, and thou hast hurt the peaceful, thou hast loved liars, 
this young man, he loves liars, but he loves anybody that is not truthful, man. He loves anybody that's against the truth and for lies, man. Okay? Man, you yeah. can't even make it in his society without lying or promoting lies. Yeah, that's, uh, you know. that's why a lot of our women love uh, the so-called white man, because uh, his uh, lies makes them feel good about, about them themselves. Right, going back into the garden, uh, the garden of Eden. Eden. What did the serpent do to Eve? He the girl, and he, he told her a lie. And right. guess what she did? She fell for it, and she wanted to say the serpent be me. Right. Hey, he got you by his lies, man. And still doing it for, until this day. But anyways, man. Hey, that's that's the that's the truth, man. That's the truth, man. Hey, women got deceived by the see the serpent. Guess what? No. <laughs> Women got deceived by the serpent still in. Guess what? You don't want to hear the truth? And hey, what the scripture say? Hey, the uh, right is the boldest line for the wicked fleet, man. You see? You know? She had to get the hell up out of her. It's too much damn shit. Ah, hell yeah. Gotta talk about the black woman. Oh no, I can't hear that. You know, I thought they were talking about us. Right, y'all think we uplifting y'all. Y'all been uplifting too much, man. Uh, Continue on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Therefore is thy wrong dealing come up unto the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also have looked upon the proud times, and beheld they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. Therefore appear no more thy eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious head, nor thy hurt for claws, nor all thy vain body. Right, and you know, and when it says, um, the highest also looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, his abominations are fulfilled. Basically, man, this devil push nothing but abominations here, man. You know, and he does fulfill his abominations, man. Because why? The Lord allow him to do it just to do what? Just to destroy him, man. Okay? He can sway us all day, but at the end of the day, the Lord is taking the account of that, man. Writing that down, because you that was transcript is long, man. Man, we talking about long, man. The first one you hear when you get a judge, it's like, damn, I fucked up. But, uh, yeah, that's it on that. chapter 12 verse 1 and it came to pass while the lion spake these words unto the eagle I saw and behold he, the head that remained of the four wings appeared no more and the two went unto unto it and set themselves up to reign and their kingdom was small and full of uproar and I saw and behold they appeared no more, and the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fire. Then awake I out of the trouble and trance of my mind, and from great fear, and said unto my spirit, right. And like I said earlier, man, that lion supposed to represent Yahweh Shah, okay? And that eagle, the Edomites, man, okay? And as you can see, Hey, what happened to the eagle, man? The eagle got burnt up. What is the eagle supposed to represent? It's America, man. And you eat it might as well, man. This place is going to get burnt by fire, man. And that's what it means when it said y'all was not spoken to the eagle, man. Because why this place, this damn devil is literally all over the earth spreading wickedness, all abominations, and guess what? He's gonna have to pay for all that, man. Right. Killing innocent people, you know, over especially over there in the Middle East, man. What, what, what's the point of you bombing the people, man? You know, you doing that out of pleasure, and, and you like blood, man. Also, to, to, to see what the effects of these bombs are be, is that, you know, they have the experiments that they test around the world in certain places, man. Um, so, they, so they can get a gauge of just how uh, destructive they can be before that time comes. And when the scripture talks about how he created the waste to destroy, 
Hey, the Lord literally put that into your mind to make those bombs. And you don't, you thinking, you probably, you you know, my spy think, yeah, he gave us this power just to be able to be guys, man. No, he made that, but he made me make that so he can use it against you, man. Okay? You people need to understand that's old technology to the Lord, man. That's why he gave it to you, man. Okay? What use does the Lord need for a thermal nuclear missile? He needs to snap at his feet and destroy this whole planet, man. Okay? That's, that's how you know the, the Lord really setting you devils up, man. Just to destroy yourselves, man. And it's funny because it's like you just shot an arrow on the sky and it's coming back down over, man. Okay? <laughs> that's exactly what they're doing. Right. You know, doing stupid Basically, you love to sell me something. Yeah. Right. And all the other destruction is coming for you, man. You know? Because when you uh, blew your first atomic bomb up, man, you had regrets, man. You was like, man, we made a weapon that's too damn destructive, man. And what do you keep making? And you don't know why you're doing it. Sick ass shit. Cannibalism. Yeah, man, that, that really came from him. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw he was, he took, took it to the next level. Yeah, that's showing that, hey, he can't have enough. Like, hey, he sees somebody else doing something. He's like, I'm going to do it too. And he going to go far with it, man. Then our people do the shit and go further. Yeah. Like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, because, uh, yeah, them, see, all, hey, all you damn uh, heathens, man. Shit, I don't know what he the worst. I think probably, like, hell might be second. Oh, yeah, uh, what the? Yeah, cause even uh, Moab uh, feed his soup, shit like that. Feed his soup? Yeah, yeah, feed his soup. That's disgusting. So yeah, that's pretty much what cannibalism is. Yeah, well, yeah. and that is so, hey, hey, another thing, hey, cannibal, uh, cannibalism is coming back in Earth on a huge scale, man. Because yeah. it's an article out there that tells you that, hey, we only got 10 weeks of food supply left, man. Uh, grains. Yeah, uh, grains, grains, grains. Yeah, as far as uh, well, wheat. Uh, what, what is uh, wheat used for bread, man? You know? Hey, once this, that's gone, man. Hey, it's going to be a plenty of other shortages that's coming, man. They already talking about uh, poultry shortages, man. Okay? They already talking about that. Appreciate it, Mr. This is uh, second Edris. Second Edris 15.
turn themselves against another and repent things they have done to Like as they do get this day unto my chosen. So will I do also in their bosom. Thus said the Lord, power. My right hand shall not spread the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Christ said, the Lord said, his right hand shall not spread the sinners. And so that woman just walked out the house, which is a straight sinner, man. Because, hey, that's uh, love by the most high. That woman's supposed to be uh, dressed in modest apparel, man. Right, that's how you do so much, man. And a woman not supposed to wear uh, pants. Now, like, I ain't trying to say, like, the sisters out there that's listening, like, you can't wear a damn dress every damn day and be over righteous. That, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but at the same time, Hey, that's still, it's, it's still cross dressing. In the ways of, in the day in the age, man, that's how you do a woman so hard when she walked around like that, man. Never piece her skin, you know? She, that's how you do she used the hardest, man. Hey, you know? man, hey, but, but, but even then, like back, like back in the 1800s, a lot of, uh, Yes, 